हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आर्यन गुरु वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शरद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द नंबर ऑफ प्लान दिस स्लाइड शोज द प्रॉब्लम्स इन सिटीज दे आर अनप्लान ग्रोथ ऑफ सेटलमेंट ओवर पॉपुलेशन इन सिटीज इन इफेक्टिव एंड फेवरेबल लैंड मैनेजमेंट वाटर क्राइसिस इन द सोसाइटी एंड सिटी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू ड्रेनेज एंड वेस्ट वाटर डिस्पोजल ट्रैफिक एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम लैक इन प्रॉपर हाउसिंग पॉलिसी सो इन ऑर्डर टू रिड्यूस द प्रॉब्लम्स इन सिटी द कंसेप्ट ऑफ नेबरहुड प्लानिंग वॉल डेवलप सो विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ नेबरहुड प्लानिंग सो नेबरहुड प्लान कंसेप्ट वॉज वन ऑफ द मेजर लैंडमार्क इन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी अर्बन प्लानिंग टू डिफरेंट ओरिजिनल आइडियाज अपियर इन द सेम इयर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन The neighborhood unit as a planning concept evolved in response to the degenerated environmental and social condition fostered as a consequences of industrial revolution in the early 90. <coughs> so, in this slide, we are going to see what do you mean by neighborhood. So, neighborhood is an idea, concept, and strategy used globally by the architect and urban planners to plan and decentralize cities within. the cities promote self contained communities and to make cities more human and social interactive also neighborhood is a geographically localized community with large town or large city suburb having considerable face to face interaction among the members has been promoted as a concept approach strategy and option for ensuring safety of children and elders walking to school and playgrounds in industrial cities of early 19th century in america clarence perry envisaged neighborhood as a model for residential development in metropolitan areas to plan <coughs> so in this slide we are see, we are going to see the evolution of neighborhood planning the neighborhood it is introduced by clarence arthur perry very uh, neighborhood unit concept began as a means of insulating the community from the ill effect of burrowing sea of vehicular traffic the neighborhood unit as a planning concept evolved in response to the degenerated environmental and social condition fostered as a consequences of industrial revolution in the early 19th century हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आर्यन गुरु वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शरद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द मॉड्यूल नंबर थ्री इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द नंबर ऑफ प्लानिंग दिस स्लाइड शोज द की कंपोनेंट and layers of neighborhood it includes existing natural area mix of land uses <coughs> multimodal choices compact urban form parks and community spaces houses opportunity and choice res resilience and low impact element unique neighborhood identity safe and secure neighborhood and neighborhood planning we are going to see the components of neighborhood planning first is natural area each neighborhood contain natural open space and is sensitive to the existing land condition and local ecology neighborhoods are designed to include existing or enhanced natural and conservational area or are a are are a response to natural features this may include greenways wetland watercourses wood lots and native plant vegetation second component is mixed land uses each neighborhood has a mix of land uses and densities that provide to live learn work and play more intensive land uses are connected and focused around transit alternative transportation modes and parks all citizens can easily access daily shopping and recreational needs in their neighborhood regardless of mode choice then the next component is multimodal choice each neighborhood offers real mobility choices for residents to travel to from and within the neighborhood 
street and trails are well connected to encourage active modes of travel traffic and parking are managed and do not dominate the neighborhood then the next component is compact urban form and density each neighborhood is designed to use land wisely and efficiently so therefore higher density housing is clustered and located with commercial and institutional uses and public transport stops therefore higher density areas gradually transition to lower density areas further density supports a mix of uses and viable transit ridership so in this slide we are going to see integrated parks and community spaces for neighborhood each neighborhood offers high quality public spaces with a variety and mix of leisure and recreational opportunities open spaces are well connected and integrated public space is accessible and suitable for a range of ages and abilities active and passive spaces provide areas to congregate socialize recreate by physically active and spend time outdoors then the next component is housing opportunity and choice neighborhood provide a mixture of building unit sizes and housing types housing option provide choice within the neighborhood appealing to a range of income family types and opportunity for aging in place so in this slide we are going to see another component that is resilient low impact neighborhoods each neighborhood is designed to be resilient and adapt to changing condition such as growth rates demographics regional context energy price changes climate change and change in residents needs and preferences therefore cost effective neighborhoods are designed with consideration for construction long term maintenance operation and resident affordability further neighborhoods are planned to accommodate a variety of future uses that will allow buildings public spaces and amenities to be adapted efficiently as needed in this slide we are going to see safe and secure neighborhoods each neighborhood is designed to promote citizens health and well being and increase overall neighborhood safety and social interaction streets are designed for pedestrian and cyclist safety residents know their neighbors feel confident to play walk cycle and transit use neighborhood spaces and access community amenities then the next component of neighborhood is unique neighborhood each neighborhood has a distinct identity fostering community pride and a sense of belonging arrival features focal points natural element public art and other symbols of the community are integrated at important intersections and other locations within the neighborhood architecture and site design express creativity a distinct look and feel for each neighborhood including relationship between buildings and public space size of homes street width block size choice of material and architectural character so in this slide we are going to see the neighborhood as an american idea which is based on simple principle that one is planning for society and not for aggregate of houses in case of big towns it sometimes becomes difficult to develop a sense of neighborliness mainly for two reasons they are the neighbors are not dependent on one another's company and and aid because city life gives a wide field of acquaintance and entertainment the neighbors may not have common modes and habit of living the neighbor in neighborhood planning it is an attempt to form various physical unit of residential areas in which people belonging to a particular rank of life settles or stay it is the intention of a town planner to originate the valuable idea of neighborhood which have been lost in busy uncontrolled city life therefore all the residential units are now planned on neighborhood principle it is a small unit which serve the local community and encourages them to foster a neighborhood spirit or relationship which seem to have been lost in the modern city life it should possesses the best qualities of small town to facilitate the acquaintance and neighborly relations and also be broad enough to accommodate sufficient people to enable each individual to come in contact with people of different strata of society and compatible taste that is unity in diversity 
this slide refers to element of neighborhood planning and their interrelationship the elements of neighborhood planning are residential facility facilities recreational facilities road network health facilities and commercial facilities then we will see the purpose of neighborhood planning the to make the people socialize with one and another second to enable the inhabitants to share the public amenities and recreational facilities also to support a safe and healthy environment within the neighborhood and to provide safety and efficiency to road users and pedestrians also to maintain enhance and improve area for recreational activities to determine the community's prospect for the future so this slide refers to principle of neighborhood planning in which the different principles given are sizes boundaries protective strips internal streets layout of buildings shopping centers community centers and facilities we are going to see the principle one by one the first principle is size the town is divided into self contained unit or sectors of 10000 population this is further divided into <coughs> smaller unit called neighborhood unit with 2000 to 5000 based on the requirement of one primary school the size of unit is therefore limited to about 1 to 1.5 square kilometer that is within walkable distance of 10 to 15 minutes then the second principle is boundaries the unit should be bounded on all its side by main road wide enough for traffic then the third principle is protective strips these are necessary to protect the neighborhood from annoyance of traffic and to provide a suitable facilities for developing parks playgrounds and road widening schemes in future these are also called as minor green belts this slide refers to element of neighborhood planning and their interrelationship the elements of neighborhood planning are residential facility facilities recreational facilities road network health facilities and commercial facilities then the principle of neighborhood is layout of buildings so in the layout to increase the neighborhood relation and secure social stability and balance houses are built to suit the different income group uh, so as to provide a single family houses double family houses cottages flats etc similarly the shopping centers each shop should be located on the circumference of the unit preferably at traffic junctions and adjacent to neighborhood units then the next principle is community centers each community will have its center with social cultural and recreational amenities next principle of neighborhood unit is facilities all public facilities required for the family for their comfort and convenience should be within easy reach these include the primary school temple club houses retail shop sports center etc these should be located within 1 km in the central place so as to form a nucleus to develop the social life of the unit then in this slide we are going to see what are the benefits of neighborhood planning so the neighborhood planning makes the people socialize with one and another it improves communication and focuses ideas neighborhood planning helps to identify its strength and evaluate its own resources it helps to build consensus about what needs to be accomplished similarly it encourages creativity and build partnership both within and outside the neighborhood also it enables other to become more informed and responsive about the policy and financial decision of local government the neighbors are not dependent on one another's company and and aid because city life gives a wide field of acquaintance and entertainment the neighbors may not have common modes and habit of living the neighbor in neighborhood planning is an attempt to form various physical unit of residential areas 
in which people belonging to a particular rank of life settles or stay. It is the intention. This slide refers to element of neighborhood planning and their interrelationship. The elements of neighborhood planning are residential facilities, recreational facilities, road network, health facilities, and commercial facilities. Further in the structural plan, the, we are going to see what are the function of structural plan. First is interpreting national and regional policies. Secondly, structural plan establishes aims and policies and general proposal for the area for which the plan is prepared. And thirdly, it provides the framework for local plans uh, for broad policies and proposal of the structure plan form a framework for more detailed policies and proposals in local plans. Also it is indicative action areas which are priority areas for intensive action therefore providing guidance for development control in those parts of the area which are not covered or not yet covered by a local plan. Also it provides basis for coordinating decisions between various committees of the planning authority and district councils who deal with various components of development and other public bodies likely to be concerned with important aspect of the plan. Further, bringing main planning issues and decisions before minister and public. Therefore, the structure plan is decision document that is only those policies or proposals are included in structural plan which will affect significantly the structure of the area. The structure plan will not only contain decision but will also explain how these decisions were arrived at. Also a report of survey supporting the plan and description of examination of alternative decision that may have been considered and the way in which a particular course of action may have been chosen will also form part of written document accompanying the plan. Also the structural plan needs to contain general development control policies for attempts of structural importance. Detailed development control standards should not be included in the structural plan. So in this slide we are going to see integrated parks and community spaces for neighborhood. Each neighborhood offers high quality public spaces with a variety and mix of leisure and recreational opportunities. Open spaces are well connected and integrated. Public space is accessible and suitable for a range of ages and abilities. Active and passive spaces provide areas to congregate, socialize, recreate by physically active and spend time outdoors. In this video lecture, we have seen the neighborhood, what is the meaning of neighborhood, what the neighborhood is, why it is required, what are the, what are the principle of neighborhood planning, how the neighborhood planning affects the environment, 
and the social relationship between the citizens they are living at a particular place also we have seen the structure plan which is required for a particular town or particular place thank you students for your kind attention